how do I put this correctly <laughs> without being offensive? Major negative, which has been irking me so much lately. And literally I experience this every single day when I step out of my flat. Hello, Suzanne, and welcome back to another video. I hope that you are all having an awesome day so far. For those of you who are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Diana and I am a Canadian expat that's been living and working in Berlin, Germany for over five years now. So for today, I wanna to talk about something that's been on my mind for the last few weeks. Literally, I experience this every single day when I step out of my flat. I start to notice how much more different Berlin is than when I first moved here. And more specifically, I've noticed a lot of drastic changes in the city and the way that things operate in the city since the pandemonium started and since things started to go back to normal. So I wanted to share with you what I have noticed in case you are planning to move here and just to give you more of an up-to-date picture of what's happening. Uh, some things are good and some things are not good. Actually, they're quite bad, but we always keep it real here. So I'm going to share with you um, yeah, what I have been noticing. So starting off with one of the first things that I have noticed, and this is a good thing, and it is that in Berlin, it's not just cash that's king anymore. If you have been following my videos for a while, you know that I constantly talked about how in Germany, they were really hesitant to adapt, um, or adopt, I should say, card payments, credit card payments. It was all about carrying cash around and all about paying with cash. And a lot of businesses didn't accept credit cards or even debit card payments, which as someone coming from Canada, which is very much a credit card heavy society, it was definitely a shock when I moved here. But since the pandemonium and since people became a bit more weary about carrying cash and passing cash onto each other, the city has definitely uh, stepped it up and now a lot more places are accepting card payments, which is awesome. I always hated carrying cash around as I'm sure many of you can relate to as well. So just not having to worry so much about that is really great. Although not every single place is like that. There's still more traditional places, a lot of restaurants, a lot of corner stores, AKA the Spatis that only accept um, cash still. Um, why is my voice turning into <coughs> Kermit the Frog right now? <laughs> uh, <coughs> excuse me. Um, a lot of yeah, restaurants, even some shops as well. Uh, smaller mom and pop shops, they still only accept cash, but major retailers, uh, most bars, even clubs, they also accept card now. So that is all good stuff. So that's the positive side to things. I have some more positive things I wanna talk about before I get to the major negative, which has been irking me so much lately, and I'm sure it has been irritating a lot of people. But before that, let's talk about the positives. Um, I mentioned a few videos ago that the food scene in Berlin has gotten so good, really. So, so good, more so that I absolutely love the food here a lot more than I do Toronto food, which for me, I never thought I would say that because I love Toronto food. Toronto has amazing food culture and a lot of amazing restaurants with a lot of flavor. Uh, Toronto is a very multicultural place, so there's a lot of good food. But honestly, Berlin has stepped it up and I definitely couldn't have said that five years ago, even two years ago. But I don't know what it is, but a lot of good restaurants have started popping up. A lot of flavorful restaurants, a lot of places with more spicy food, with a lot more authentic food. And it's just a really, really good time in the restaurant scene here. It makes me excited to go out and explore new restaurants, new places, and new neighborhoods. And I feel like I'm constantly getting recommendations for good places. And these are places that don't disappoint. Back in the day, the food here was very, very bland. Um, because Germans, they have a bit more of, um, how do I put this correctly <laughs> without being offensive? Their palate is a lot more 
simple, okay? They don't like a lot of flavor. Their culture doesn't have a lot of spices in it. Uh, the most that they'll use is paprika, salt, pepper, um, you know, maybe some garlic powder, onion powder here and there, but there's not a lot in terms of spices because it's just not really grown here. It's not part of the cuisine. So naturally that translated to a lot of the restaurants here. But now a lot of the restaurants are incorporating a lot more spicier dishes, a lot more authentic dishes and not just catering to the German palate anymore. And that makes me so, so happy. So yeah, it's been a really good time for food in the city. So I think a lot of you moving here who like more flavorful food, you should definitely look forward to this because the game has been stepped up and it does not disappoint. The other thing I wanted to talk about is how multicultural the city has gotten. When I moved here, there was definitely a lot of people from other countries like myself moving here, settling in the city, but definitely over the last two years, I feel like there's just been a huge expat boom, a huge boom of people moving to the city to work, to live here, to settle down. And it's been really cool to see actually because now there's people from so many different countries here. Before I felt like it was still very Europe heavy. A lot of people were moving here from Italy, Spain, Portugal, UK, um, and then of course the North American countries. But now I feel like there's so many more people moving from Latin America. There's a huge Brazilian population here, a huge Latino population starting to form here and also from asia a lot more people are moving here as well so it's just been really cool to see how the city has developed and how it's becoming so much more multicultural and i think because of that you know the food scene has changed a lot as well because people have brought their uh cuisine here their take on food and it's just creating a whole new um uh, culture a whole, a whole new multicultural country culture oh my god <laughs> in the city so that's been really cool to see um, so again if you were worried maybe that it's not going to be so multicultural or you're not going to find food that you were used to eating back home or the flavors or that it wasn't super diverse really don't worry about that because it's gotten so much more diverse in the last two years and i personally love that because i came from toronto as i said which is an extremely multicultural city and it's just cool to see that that's happening here too. And also the German government is making it so much easier for people to move here to work uh, because there is a high demand for highly skilled workers. I've made a whole video about this. So I'm gonna go ahead and link it up here in case you're curious about some of those jobs and some of those changes that are happening in immigration that have made it so that people can actually move here. So that's been super cool to see. The other thing I want to talk about, and this is the thing that's really been irking me lately, as I mentioned as well, there's been a lot of updates lately, so that's why I'm referring to what I've been uh, mentioning in past videos, but I am looking for a flat. My boyfriend, my puppy and I, we are looking for a new flat, and the struggle has become even more real. It's always been quite difficult to find a flat here, if you don't know, um, when I first moved here, within the first year, we moved six times from flat to flat to flat, six separate flats before we ultimately landed in this flat. But now it's even more competitive because so many people are moving here. There's not a lot of flats that are empty. Uh, people don't necessarily have the pressure to move because they're usually paying very low rent for huge places and good areas if they've been living there for a while. So it's just become even more competitive and the market is even crazier now if you want to rent. And something new that has happened that really I've only started to notice in the last two years that has taken off is flat swapping. And this has just added a whole other element into your flat search. So this is where you can go on a website where you list a flat. And instead of just listing your flat for rental, now what you can do is you can offer your flat in exchange for another flat. So maybe if you have a two room flat and now you want a three room flat, you can do a swap with somebody else. And that means that they may get your flat for way cheaper and you just might pay slightly more for a bigger place. And the prices are usually way cheaper than 
the regular market prices if you just were to list it on its own without doing the swap. But yeah, unless you have a flat to swap, <laughs> you're kind of screwed right now. And it's really, really hard for you to find a place to live right now because of that, because everyone's just doing swaps. I feel like the majority of listings I see now are these swaps and that's just a whole new ball game. And yeah, it just really sucks if you don't have a place to live in currently long-term or if you don't have a place to swap that would give you, you know, the bigger space that you need or, or you know, if you just want something different than what you currently have. And that's Kai, if you can hear him. So yeah, that's, that's definitely something that's been challenging when I do coaching calls with you guys and you ask me about renting here. I always keep it real and I say that that's honestly one of the biggest shocks of moving here, at least to Berlin, because it is such a time consuming and stressful process. And you have to be very, very patient with yourself and just know that you may have to go to viewings every single day, apply to multiple flats every single day, be extremely on the ball with it, or you may just have to do short-term leases and move around like we did for our first year of living here. So I definitely wish all of you luck who are going through this process. I also need the luck as well, but the flat swaps are just such a mess, honestly. I'm sure it works for a lot of people and a lot of people are able to take advantage of it, but again, it's just, sort of unfair if you don't have anything to exchange uh, or offer. So yeah, that has been very, very annoying. But those are some of the major changes that I've seen in the city in the last few years. I hope that you got some insight into what's happening in Berlin. Like I said, a lot of positive changes, a lot of cool things are happening. It's still a very vibrant, fun city, still a very artsy city, quirky city. It's very unique from the rest of Germany and I still absolutely love it here, but I'm not gonna lie, things have changed a bit and I think that's just very normal and they will continue to change as more people move over and they bring along their culture traditions um, and the city evolves just to cater to everybody. It's gonna change and I'll definitely keep you posted as I notice more changes, but for the most part, things are good, you know, unless you're looking for a flat, then yeah, it's just a common struggle. I call it a rite of passage to living in the city, so we all kind of have to go through it. But besides that, all is good. Let me know if you live here, if you visited, if you noticed some changes. Let me know in the comments below, and I hope that you found this video helpful in some way, shape, or form. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to stick around for more videos, and I will talk to you all in my next one. Tschüss! It's not my place, I know it's not, but I can let you go. Not with him. This is it, this is my it. final shot, shot at changing your